Welcome to Andre's Data. We are the neuroinformatics and biostatistics team, and we want to tell you about our data pipelines and processes that allow researchers to generate knowledge from data. Andre's data are very important. They help us better understand neurodegenerative disorders. But the Andre data are also very large, very complex, and come from multiple sources, including clinical, neuropsychological, genomic assessments, brain and retinal imaging, eye tracking, and measurement of gait patterns. So our team plays a vital role in Andre. We ensure that different data from different sources are compatible and meet a high level of integrity. A few members of our team will now tell you how Andre's data flow from collection to release and how we ensure compatibility and integrity of the data along the way. Andre's data are important and help us better understand neurodegenerative disorders. So before Andre even collects data, dozens of experts and stakeholders come together to decide what types of data to collect and to define how we collect harmonized data. This includes setting up training protocols for all patient-facing personnel and monitoring data as they are collected. Andre's data are collected over many years from across the province and are uploaded and securely stored in BrainCode, the Ontario Brain Institute's big data neuroinformatics platform. Andre takes careful steps to ensure its data are de-identified so that researchers and analysts won't know anyone's identity. This is the point in the process where we begin checking the data. These circles represent pieces of data at various steps in the process. After the assessment is complete, these pieces go into brain code as raw data and need to undergo further checking before they're deemed fit for analysis and are ready to be combined with other data pieces. One of the most important steps is to check that each piece of data is compatible with all the others. We call this step data standards, and it requires data and research experts to work together to ensure data compatibility. We can think of each data set as a small piece in a large puzzle. We have to make sure all the pieces fit together so that we can see the whole picture. The neuroinformatics and biostatistics team built and uses software tools to help automate this step in the process. See the link below to check out the tools we've created. Next, we check the integrity of each piece of data. At this step, we're trying to find anomalies, and these can be interesting, like a new finding, or something problematic, like an error. At this step, the neuroinformatics and biostatistics team analyzes and reports on these anomalies, and we do this with the tools we have built. The data at this step look a lot more polished than when it started. We send these reports back to the clinical and research experts to review, and if any issues are found, the data go through integrity and compatibility checks once again. If there are no more issues, we can proceed to the next step. Now that this piece of data is nice and shiny, it is ready to be released, which means it can be analyzed. When we release data, we also provide comprehensive details. These details include, for example, data dictionaries. Data dictionaries are like regular dictionaries. You can look up a specific piece of data to find out what it means or what it measures. We take excellent care of our data because we greatly appreciate the participants who volunteer to be part of Andre. So we take the time to ensure our data of the highest quality, knowing that these data will make substantial contributions to both research and clinical practice. We're able to do all of this because of the support of Andre, Baycrest Health Sciences, the Ontario Brain Institute, and many, many others. If you'd like to know more about our tools or even use some of those tools for yourself, please see our websites for more information. Be sure to check out some of the other videos. 